Today we visit Sweetwater Creek State Park in Lithia Springs, Georgia, and the ruins of the New Manchester Mill. Originally known as Sweetwater Mill, the mill which made thread and fabric was built in 1849. The area around Sweetwater Creek is abundant with natural resources, so it was a logical place to build it. The rushing waters of Sweetwater Creek were used to power the cotton mill that supported the entire surrounding area and its inhabitants. Fabric produced at the mill was used for the war effort in the making of uniforms for Confederate troops. Entire families worked at the mill, such as the Stewart family. Cynthia Stewart was about six years old when the mill was raided and her family taken as prisoners of war. This is her mother, Elizabeth. She kept the factory books and collected scrap garments from the factory floor to make clothing for the town folk. This is her father, Walter. He left the family to serve in the war as a Confederate soldier. He was taken as a prisoner of war and ironically, like his family, was taken north to Louisville, Kentucky, where he made brief contact with his family. After that chance meeting, they didn't reunite until after the war. By July of 1864, General Sherman and his Union troops had invaded Georgia and taken Atlanta. The factory was in full production when federal troops under the command of Colonel Silas Adams from the 1st and 11th Kentucky Cavalry, Major Haviland Tompkin from the 14th Illinois Cavalry, and a Lieutenant Ripto from the 18th Indiana arrived at 10 a.m. on July 2, 1864. Factory workers were detained and placed under guard. The drop in the river's elevation begins here at the first shoal and dam and continues to drop all the way to the Chattahoochee River. The mill race was built of stacked stones that formed the side walls. It was 1,525 feet long and was hand dug by slaves. The building, the largest manufacturing site north of Macon at the time, was five stories tall. The mill's large water wheel was located here. General Sherman ordered the mill destroyed. Every floor was doused with the flammable liquid and set on fire.
Here you can easily see the charred remains of the wooden floor. This was the location of the mill store and post office. The Stewart women, along with hundreds of other women and children from the New Manchester Mill and the Roswell Mill north of Atlanta, were carried by rail car to Louisville, Kentucky, held prisoner for a bit, and released. Most never saw their Georgia home again. However, the Stewarts were able to return to Georgia reunited.